Hey, if you're new to Roseville, you're looking to move to Roseville, or you're just a current resident that is looking for the best running trails in Roseville, then this video is going to be for you. First of all, let me just acknowledge that I am a real estate agent and I do not have the normal authority to talk about where is the best running trail. However, I'm also a born and raised Roseville boy. I've grew up on many of these trails before some of them were even paved, and I happen to be active and I'm out with several other groups and I do running and it's kind of become my thing. So I'm gonna tell you about the best running trails in Roseville and if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about some resources and some groups that you can tap into so that you don't have to go out and run on your own. Matter of fact, if you wanna come out and run with me, there might be an opportunity there. So let's dive into it. Now, number one on my list, and this is in no particular order by the way, however, number one does happen to be a pretty cool site and it's technically the oldest with the most amount of history. And that one is Maidu Regional Park. Now there's a lot of trails bordering Maidu. You can also run through parts of Maidu Park. But the cool thing about it is this is an ancient site from Maidu Indians. And there you'll see petroglyphs, you'll see bedrock mortars, really some nice scenery, and also just a beautiful park. There's some areas that are lit, there are baseball fields, there's soccer fields. It's a nice, it's a really nice park and it's a huge park and it's kind of cool to run around. So that one is located in East Roseville, just off of Rocky Ridge, Douglas area, and it's a great park. Number two on the list is the Dry Creek Trail. Now this trail borders Dry Creek alongside Morgan Creek Community and Morgan Greens neighborhood. Now this is a little bit different than the ones I'm going to talk about because it's not an official City of Roseville maintained trail. This is an unincorporated Roseville, so technically it's in Placer County. The trail is about three miles long. It is mostly paved, so it's a great trail for riding a bike but also a great trail for getting out and running and walking, etc. It borders Dry Creek, so during the summertime, it might be a little bit cooler of a trail, especially if the creek still has some water in it, which it likely should because of how much water we've had this year. This is as of 2023. But overall, it's a little bit cooler of a place to go visit, physically speaking. Okay, number three up on the list is probably the most popular trail in Roseville. I probably don't have to spend a whole lot of time talking about it because just by Googling trails, this is gonna be the, the one that pops up. And that's Miner's Ravine and False Ravine Trail. Now, what you might not know, you can tell just by looking at the map, but what a couple of things that you might not know just by searching it. One, first of all, is that it goes from downtown Roseville out to Granite Bay, essentially. This is the longest trail that we have in the area, you can easily put in 11 miles on the trail, 12 miles, depending on you know if you run to and back and which vein you take. Now, the beautiful part of this trail is it's paved all the way through. It's nice and wide. It's a two lane trail. It's great for riding a bike. It's great for walking. It's great for running. There's even rollerbladers out there. Occasionally you'll see a longboarder or a, or a skateboarder out there. It's a beautiful trail along the creek. There's some hills. And along the way, there's beautiful artwork to enjoy. You can see the Roseville Rose sculpture. And then there's other little parks that you can go off of. Every now and then there'll be a sitting bench or something like that. So one thing that you might not know just by looking online is that this trail is very, very popular. You'll see a crowd out there on the weekend. So be prepared for that. Know that you're gonna have to navigate through some people. You can still ride at a comfortable speed. You can still run at a good jog. It's not gonna be so congested that you can't enjoy yourself, but just know you're gonna see some other people out there. The fourth one up on the list is the Pleasant Grove Trail. Now this one's interesting because it breaks up into a couple different segments, but basically you can start at part of Wood Creek you can head west out to Fitment, or you can take that trail and head east towards Foothills Boulevard. This is a great trail because part of it runs through the Oak Tree Preserve. This is a beautiful trail because part of it runs through the Oak Tree Preserve, which basically goes from Wood Creek to the section that hits Blue Oaks. And that's a really fun trail to wind through. There's these beautiful oak trees, and it's just a, it's a really cool environment. Then you continue on the trail head underneath Blue Oaks and you're gonna be left with a couple of options. You can go west, further down the trail to hit Fitment, or you can go east and follow the trail, probably the longest part of the trail, until you hit Foothills Boulevard. Now, as of the time of making this video, 
that trail, if you were to go west towards Fidimit, might eventually connect to Winding Creek. And there's a whole section of Roseville that's being developed out there that's going to have more trails that you can attach to. But for now, that's kind of the gist of the Pleasant Grove Trail. Number five up on the list is kind of a different one, and that is the Sylvia Bassana Park Trail. Now, this is not a long trail by any means. However, it is in central Roseville. It's my personal favorite because it's so close to my favorite neighborhood, which is Highland Reserve. And it's a small little trail that runs alongside the creek. From there, you can access it from the fountains. If you were, I personally take the trail, I hit the fountains area, I run around the fountains, I run around the mall. I enjoy kind of being in a mix of both nature and city and seeing cars driving around and having cars see me driving around with my beet red face. And I don't know, it's just a, an area of town that I like to run in, I like to live in, I like to stay in. And so having this little access right here is really sweet. It runs right alongside a creek, runs right alongside a preserve, and also touches part of the Diamond Oaks Golf Course that you can take a look at. Now lastly, I promised you some resources so that you can tap into some groups here in Roseville. There's a couple of groups that come to mind that aren't so public when I did a little Google search. So is it okay if I give you those instead of telling you about all the other ones that you can find on like meetup sites? Cool. So one of the ones that I'm most passionate about is F3. F3 is a men's group, men's fitness group, and they do workouts and they do runs. Now there's certain times of the week that they'll be doing runs versus workouts. Definitely different locations, things like that. But it's one if you're a man and you want to run <laughs> or work out, it's one that you should for sure look into. Now, related to the same group is FIA. FIA stands for Females in Action, and that is the female version of F3. And that's also a women's group. They get together, they do some running, they do some working out in the parks and that's a resource that you should definitely look into if you're looking for either of those two things. Now next up is also for the females and that's Moms Run This Town. Moms Run This Town is a local group here. They have various different meetup spots, probably running the majority of these trails that I just mentioned and probably put me to shame and tell me about all the other trails that I missed out on. But again, I was just telling you about some of the top ones in the area. But Moms Run This Town is definitely a resource that I would look into if I was a female and looking to get out and run with other people. Bottom line, Roseville has a ton of different resources that you could tap into if you're looking to get out and run, hit some trails. And you know, I feel very, very safe. If it was my wife or my mother or family member, somebody that I cared about that was out running alone on the trail, I would still feel relatively safe that they're out doing that in any of these locations. That's the beauty of living here in Roseville. But of course, but of course, don't just take my word for it. If you're out and it's dark, I would highly recommend running with a buddy, which is why I mentioned some of those resources just a minute ago. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I know I'm a real estate guy and normally I'm talking about houses and neighborhoods and things like that, but let's face it, getting out and enjoying your surroundings and having some resources that you can tap into is a big component to choosing where you wanna live. If you wanna know about more neighborhoods in Roseville and my top five neighborhoods, then I'd watch my video on YouTube that I did, which talks about the top five neighborhoods in Roseville. As a matter of fact, each one of those top five neighborhoods will have at least one of these trails that I mentioned nearby. Hey, I'm Jeff Goolsby from the Goolsby Group, and it is my mission to help people win in real estate. And sometimes helping people win means helping you get clarity on exactly where you wanna live what surroundings are important to you in a community, and that's something that I would love to connect with you on. If you already live here in Roseville, drop in the comments, where's your favorite place to run? And if you don't live here in Roseville, reach out to me if you're looking to set up a strategy session so that we can get together, learn about what you're looking for in a community, and help you find the right one. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you on the next video.